Today we're going to present Genesis Media Browser powered by Kino by just showing you a typical workflow and the ease uh, with which you can go through your production using Genesis Media Browser as the main hub of your production work. Uh, we'll, we'll jump right in by inserting an SD card and we'll do a workflow which is typical for reality TV. You see the, the contents of the SD card that appeared right here and we can we can already on the SD card, we can do a full preview of the high resolution material. And in this case, the material, for example, was, was recorded using log, using a log profile. That's the flat colors. And you can immediately apply a lookup table and watch the material, the original material in its high resolution, even from the SD card. So another thing you can do right off the bat is do metadata editing even before you have backed up the material. For example, we want to mark the camera name here in the metadata. We'll call this, this is a GH4 that this was recorded with and that was our B cam, so we call it GH4B. All right. So the first step to import everything onto your, onto your shared storage or the storage solution that you use in a production workflow would be to use a verified copy. That is as easy as selecting this copy and verify option here and then a destination on your storage and you hit copy and verify and there you go. You see the progress down here. It's a very fast process. It employs industry standard media hash list checksumming. So everything is safe and you get everything that you shot bit by bit and you can, you have your peace of mind. You have your peace of mind. And now we switch to a typical folder structure on the production server. You have, a pro you have projects, directories, you have you have all those all those subdirectories in here and these are the things that can get messy to handle if you don't have a tool like genesis media browser and we'll just show you how this gets much easier with the tool now let's take a look at where our footage ended up we use this feature we call drill down up here to flatten the folder structure from the original card so we can just browse this as if it was in one folder and we have all the all the media files that safely arrive bit by bit in here and we can now do something like apply the lookup table just in one operation now all this flat log footage is now marked as using this lookup table and your production assistants or directors can go through the footage knowing how it will look in the end. Now you can do all sorts of metadata editing. You could, you could, for example, add tags here. Let's say I add a tag, tag uh, girl. And those tags you can use later on in production. But another thing that Genesis Media Browser Powered by Kino can also do is it has a very powerful transcoder. And I'll just show you how easy a dailies workflow is using that. I mark all the footage that I want to convert to dailies. I go into the convert menu and I select a custom preset, transcoding preset that I, that I have prepared that has all the information that I use in my workflow, like um, the naming convention that's going to be used for the, for the output files and the codec and everything. And I just hit start. And I'm just gonna save you the transcoding time. What this results in is an automatically generated folder structure right here. That's what I configured in the naming convention. And that, what that automatically does, it creates a folder structure based on date, based on the camera name, and it keeps all the material in here in its original name. And it has applied a lookup table already and has rendered a time code in that. That's all included in the transcoders functionality so that's something you just get in your media browser without the typical use of three or four additional tools just for those steps. 
So you, you just, in this part of the workflow, you have saved a lot of time. Now, let me jump to one of the most, one of the most powerful features of the media browser, and that's the already mentioned drill down function. If you apply this to the whole project folder, you, you will see the power of this. This essentially flattens all this here, all this nested folder structure here, and you can now either visually browse through the material, or you can, for example, use all metadata that was used. For example, um, I'm finding everything tagged with the tag animals, or I can filter this by other metadata like resolution, frame rate. Um, let's just say I'm looking for anything that's 24p. That's just the little squirrel here. So this is very powerful. You never lose track of any of your assets on your production drive. And this doesn't even need ingest. This just happens with the material just being put where it's usually put. No workflow changes for that. You just get this as an extra. And for example, if in your editing project, you want to find in your stock archive folder, you want to find something, let's say, let's say I want to find everything that is i want to find all the animals in here i have the same thing i can also let me remove this filter i can also filter for example all material that is 4k so this is the animal material i have in my terribly nested stock folder that's 4k so that is a huge thing and that as i just said doesn't require any ingest whatsoever so let's go back to the production process let me take another set of footage here that is a drone shoot where the production assistant has already gone through the material in this industry standard player that plays back all your all your production all your professional formats, broadcast formats, consumer formats, just um, it plays back every kind of footage, including red or Panasonic P2 footage, uh, right where it is, be it SD card or from your shared storage. And you have the, you have the functionality that you usually just have in an NLE. You have in and out points, you can set markers, you can adjust the speed, and you can, and that's the huge power of Genesis Media Browser. You can, you can tag ranges in the footage by using the subclip feature. And those, those subclips are later transferred or can later be used for several things. They can use be, they can use for for creating shot lists, for for editing and Premiere Pro or Final Cut, they can be used for batch subclip export. So this is very, very powerful. And let me just show you quickly what you can do with the material once it has all the metadata applied. For example, you can, you can export a shot list to send it to your director or editor using your favorite spreadsheet program. This is a neat shot list, shot list that was just generated from your production assistant's input. A really powerful communication tool. Or you can send your footage straight to your NLE. In this case, it's Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I specify a bin name that's optional and then just click OK and all the material just arrives in Premiere Pro and you see the subclips are entered here as metadata so your editors will have no problem finding the material for their final edit. So this is, in a nutshell, a standard workflow, standard production workflow using Genesis Media Browser and no additional software transcoder is included, metadata logging is included, 
and the file organization tools, including Excel export, um, batch still frame export, and lots of other productivity enhancement features all included in this one concise, very easily be easily usable package Genesis media browser powered by Kino. All right, are there any questions? Yeah, one of the big questions, this is Jeff, one of the big questions that, um, that we've had is, is Genesis Media Browser a MAM? Uh, not really. A MAM typically does things like, like user group management, access control, um, workflow automation. It scales to hundreds of thousands, millions of assets, complex searches. Genesis Media Browser is a workflow enhancement tool. It's not a man. Okay. So, um, how will it be supporting Avid workflows in the future? Well, currently, what it already does for uh, for a number of Avid users out there is uh, serve, serve to serve as an excellent preview tool for DNX HD footage or any other footage that is not Avid compatible, that can be transcoded to Avid compatible formats. That's all part in the uh, all part of the included transcoder. You have all the DNX HD and DNX HR, um, including the HQ formats included here. So you can easily prepare your footage and extract subclips or transcode whole batches for Avid ingest. In the future, we will definitely add, and that's coming pretty soon, we will add the possibility to browse DNX HD of Atom footage as if it were one file with the same ease that I just demoed for all the other parts of the workflow. And eventually there will be a media, com uh, media composer integration, but uh, there is no timing for that yet. Okay, great. So what about being able to track other file types like um, say PDF or, or doc files? And then also I'll just you know, ask this as one question, um, adding additional image files that can be tracked like for print media or um, you know, graphics users. We're actually already working on that feature. The feature will allow you to enable the, the file extensions or the, the file types that you want to show in the browser. We decided against always showing all files because that gets rid of, of, of the effic efficiency of focusing on certain file types, but there will be the option to to enable dark PDF and, and other uh, like InDesign and um, similar formats that they are available in the, in the browser window and can be filtered and can be tagged so you can find them later on. Okay, great. And there's no limitation on the overall number of files that can be indexed by uh, Genesis Media Browser, correct? No, there is no limitation. The only thing that you have to be aware of is when you do this, this drill down operation, like I did here with this production drive here, I have a number of, of assets. That's 1000, roughly 1,500. That works very well in the media browser. If you want to do this operation on hundreds of thousands of files, then the scalability limit of the media browser has been reached as far as searching and complex filtering is concerned. But that's really then what a MAM is for. And Genesis Media Browser is not a MAM. Visit us at scalelogicinc.com or give us a call at 855-440-4678 to schedule your demo of Genesis Media Browser powered by Kino.